PCI bus development started in spring 1991 at Intel Corporation. The company experts set a goal to elaborate a chip solution which could allow full realization of the capabilities of the then new generation Pentium processor. The elaboration was not an attempt to improve the existing solutions, but was a green field. As a result, the PCI bus appeared in June 1992. The experts from Intel did not use the processor bus. Thus, the solution turned out to be processor independent and able to function alongside the processor bus without making requests to it. For example, the processor can operate the system memory while the Winchester is recording data. Being processor independent, the bus can be used not only in IBM PC compatible computers but in Macintosh and other ones as well. Intel company announced the PCI bus standard open and the designers got a possibility to develop any devices for the bus without license purchase. Through the so-called bridges, the processor can be connected to several PCI channels. Starting from 2.1 version of the bus, the possibility to simultaneously transmit data between independent PCI channels is provided. For a configuration of devices, choice of interrupt requests and TMA channels is maintained by BIOS means of the mother card, according to the plug-and-play standard. Basic bus capacitors are as follows. Synchronous 32-bit or 64-bit data interchange, 5 volts and 3.3 volt logic support. The slots for 5 and 3.3 volt plates differ in the key's positioning. Universal plates can maintain both voltage magnitudes. 66 MHz frequency is maintained only by the 3.3 volt logic. Bus operating frequency of 33 MHz or 66 MHz enables providing of a large bandwidth capacity range using the stream mode. For the bus to function at the 66 MHz frequency, all peripheral devices must work at the same frequency. Full support of the multiply bus master, that is, several hard disk controllers can function on the bus simultaneously. Automatic expansion card configuration at the power on moment. The bus specification enables combination of up to eight functions on one card, that is, video plus audio, etc. The bus allows installation of up to four expansion slots, though the PCI PCI bridge can be used to enlarge the expansion slots number. The PCI bus is utilized in the majority of modern computers. It has become the de facto standard in the contemporary PC industry. Nowadays, the PCI interface is gradually exposed by a more productive interface. Modern mother plates are provided with only one or sometimes two PCI slots instead of five or six as it was made earlier.